Hello, welcome to this tour of Iris Open Books powered by Free Agent. This tour will take about 10 minutes and in it we'll give you a brief overview of the product. We'll particularly look at the areas that are going to make your lives easier as accountants, but we'll also show you some features that will be really useful for your clients as they do their day-to-day -day record keeping. So let's get started. What you can see here is the Account Manager dashboard. This is a list of all your clients who are using Iris Open Books. You can see the client's name, contact information, and also when they last put some banking information in. That'll help you keep track of who's getting behind with their bookkeeping. And then if you want to look at a client's records or enter some more advanced accounting information such as posting some journal entries, just click on that client to select it. This brings you into the overview screen for that client. Each client's Iris Open Books account has its own unique URL. For example, this client's is Video test. And you can see the web address is secure because it begins with HTTPS rather than HTTP. You're logged in as the accountant and you can tell that because of the return to your dashboard option up here which lets you quickly go back to your account manager dashboard. From where you can click on another client and start working with their records. You can see the URL is different because this is a different client's accounts but you can easily move between them using your dashboard. Now let's have a look at the overview screen. This gives you and your client a series of snapshots of how their business is doing. We'll show you some of them now. We have a mini P&L which not only shows the income, expenses and operating profit for the client's financial year so far, but also gives a corporation tax figure. This is a ballpark projection which is worked out in real time. So for example, every time your client records an expense, this figure will go down so your clients will have a good idea of how much money they need to keep back to pay their corporation tax bill. There's also a note of how much the company has paid out so far in dividends. And because the mini P&L tracks distributable reserves as well, clients can see how much is left for them to take out, so there's no excuse for clients to pay any illegal dividends. The client you're seeing here is a limited company. For sole traders and partnerships, the software is tailored so that there aren't any references to dividends or corporation tax. Coming back to tax, we also provide a unique tax timeline which lists all a business's tax liabilities, such as VAT, PAYE and corporation tax due, and also income tax for the directors. It says when these taxes are due and also gives deadlines for company annual returns and accounts filing dates. You and your clients can also subscribe to this in your own calendar, such as Google, Outlook or iCal, so your client doesn't even need to log into Iris Open Books to see what tax is due and when. No more penalties from HM Revenue. Your clients can also get an idea of their cash flow by looking at the bank account graph, which tracks the bank balance on their chosen account. Cash flow is the lifeblood of any business. Your client can see here which invoices are overdue, so that they can chase their customers. And Iris Open Books also has a feature which lets them send automatic reminders by email to any customers whose invoices are overdue. Now let's have a quick look at some of the other tools which Iris Open Books provides to your clients. It's really quick and easy to create a new sales invoice in Open Books. Here's an example of a draft invoice. Your client can choose a template for this invoice from our gallery of themes here. Click the theme you like and the invoice will change its appearance. Invoices can only be edited and customised when they're in draft status. When your client is ready to send this invoice to their customer, they can save it as a PDF or send it by email from within Iris Open Books. Only when it's marked as sent does the invoice go through into Iris Open Books fully functional double entry engine and show up in the sales and trade debtors accounts. The next area we'd like to show you is called My Money. Why My Money? Because some clients find it very difficult to distinguish between what money is theirs and what's the company's. They're the company's sole director and sole shareholder. The money is all theirs, right? Wrong. My Money keeps track of what money really is the client's to take out of the company. Again, it's really easy and quick to record an expense, like this. We've broken the categories down between normally vattable and normally zero vattable. This gives your client more than a 50-50 chance of getting their input VAT claims right. For example, 
travel is normally zero rated. So the auto setting for that category is no VAT. But some travel expenses, such as car park tickets, do have VAT on them. And so your client can choose a different rate of VAT from the drop down menu, or choose to manually enter the VAT by entering amount. Your client can also track mileage travelled in their own vehicle, be that a car, motorcycle or bicycle. Iris Openbooks is pre-programmed with the mileage rates as approved by HM Revenue to maximise the tax relief and remove the taxable benefit risk. Every time your client enters a bank payment or a journal of a dividend, Iris Openbooks automatically creates a voucher and board minutes for that dividend. This will not only save you time, but also help ensure your client doesn't fall foul of HM Revenue by not creating dividend paperwork in good time. Just click on the payment to see the voucher, which as you can see contains both board minutes and tax credit information, and can also be printed as a PDF. The Iris Openbooks payroll engine is simplified. We found it suits 80 to 85% of many end users' needs, but it's not as fully functional as Iris Payroll. For instance, it won't handle national insurance for pensioners, nor can it produce year-end payroll forms. But it does let your client track what money is owed to them as a salary, and the Iris Openbooks payroll calculations can be manually edited if needed. Now we come to banking, which is the heart and hub of the Iris Openbooks system. We designed this for your clients to use with online banking. So they would download a statement from their online banking system, upload it into Iris Openbooks, and once it's uploaded, then one by one they explain to the system what each transaction is. These transactions here are all unexplained. You can tell that because the transactions are in red and there's a big red question mark to the right of the transaction entry. The software is also warning that there are unexplained transactions. To explain a transaction, your client just needs to click on it and start by choosing what kind of transaction it is. Money out or money in, and whether it's a payment, payment of a bill, money paid to user, and so on. Let's say this is a payment to Staples for stationery. Your client would choose type payment and choose the category stationery. Just like expenses, the categories are chosen carefully for VAT to help your client get the input VAT right. If this payment has the same description on the bank statement as another one, Iris Openbooks will ask your client if they'd like to use this description for the next transaction as well. Iris Openbooks gradually learns the explanations your client uses, so that with each bank statement the client has to explain less and less transactions, because the software learns to recognise them. Once the explanation is created, the transaction shows green instead of red, and the symbol becomes a tick, so your client can tell which transactions have been explained and which are still to be done. Iris Openbooks can quite happily deal with invoice and cash accounting for VAT, flat rate scheme or not, and it works out all the calculations automatically. For example, when a client switches from cash to invoice accounting, it will automatically post a journal for the VAT on trade debtors outstanding. And when a client is using the flat rate scheme, the journals for the surplus are all posted by the system to a VAT flat rate surplus code. No complex calculations for you or your clients to do, they're all done for you. Let's finish with a quick look round the reporting areas. Iris Openbooks is intended to work with Iris Accounts Production, not replace it. So the reports you'll see in Iris Openbooks are simple management accounting reports, such as a yearly P&L and a monthly P&L. There's also a balance sheet and a trial balance which you can export as a CSV file and then modify so that it can be uploaded into Iris Accounts Production. And by clicking on any of the figures here, you can drill down into how they're made up. You'll notice that in Iris Openbooks, we don't call this area the nominal ledger because your clients wouldn't know what a nominal ledger is. To keep it user-friendly for them, we just call this Show Transactions. That's the end of this tour. We hope it's given you a good idea of how simple Iris Openbooks is to use and how it could help make your life much easier as well as your clients' lives. Please contact us to find out more. Thanks very much for listening.